name is Nico, and my message to the world is to stay creative and active through sports and arts. The 5280Q Court, Amherst Park, Westminster, Colorado. Hey, what's up, world? This is Zer, aka Zerminion. Uh, I'm out here just letting the world know how I got connected with Quincy. Uh, we met at the Venice Basketball League uh, this summer, 2019, and he reached out and asked me for help. Teamwork is key, always. Like, if you mess up, then it's not your fault, it's the group's fault, but still, even if it's not, you all work together to make one masterpiece. from this experience is that uh, if you just get a couple people together you can make something really big It'll change a lot. Hey, uh, my name is Calvin Carlson. I learned that really um, when you when you want to achieve something um, you really just got to reach out and try but uh, it really helps when when you work together as a team. Teamwork really helps a lot and uh, when you're there and everyone's helping out uh, you get stuff done and um, Everything comes together eventually, and to achieve big things, you gotta work really hard. So, uh, yeah. You work together, right? Yes, sir. Uh, hi, my name is Kaden Harrison, and um, what I learned from this is that experience is that you know, just gotta help the community and do what's the right thing, and just, yeah, just have fun. Green. I'm Brock Wilson, and what I learned is family's better than nothing, everyone's a family. If you make life, it makes life easier when you have a bunch of people with you. For sure. Man. I'm Brandon Wilson, and I learned that we should stay positive and work together instead of being apart and fighting each other. Alright, my name is Daniel Wilson, and what I learned is projects like this really bring the community together. My name is Brayden, and I learned that. We all gotta work together, man. And if you're trying to get like a project like we just did, you gotta get like your family, you gotta get your friends, you gotta get everybody you know, right? And yeah, you gotta get, you gotta work together. Hey, for sure. Uh, my name's Joey. Uh, my Instagram's Joey underscore Legend Ten. And um, I learned from this experience that hard work pays off, and you gotta hard work hard for what you want, and work hard for something nice. Um. It also teaches a lot of life skills, how to work together as a team, which is important for other jobs, and um, how you gotta work until the job's done, not till when it says it's done. Could have been done Saturday night, but we, we finished up Sunday night, and it's what, what it is. So work hard, and you get what you want in life. Sure. My name is Quincy Hustle, and uh, I'm doing this just to make an impact on the community, bring everyone together, you know, just have a good pickup, you know, it's going to be a really cool spot, you know, Elmer's Park. I mean, that's where I grew up hooping, you know, we'd always be there, me and my homies, we'd just be getting shots at, you know. And it was a really blank spot. I mean, white backboards, white court, like everything. It was just blank, plain, you know. And so uh, this court just like, it's where I grew up, you know. We'd always be there, you know, just putting up shots, playing around, messing around. You know, my team would meet up there sometimes. We, we actually practiced at the school across the street. So some of us would show up like an hour before and the gym wouldn't be open. So we'd go over that court and shoot around, you know. But I, I grew up there, like I was constantly there. Other than that, you gotta work for like what you want, and uh, if you want something, you gotta go at it. Like if I didn't go at it like that, 
then uh, it wouldn't have been able to happen. everything if you don't work together as a team you get mad at your teammates like it's not gonna work people aren't gonna like you and uh but if you're cool with everyone and, and you work together as a team you'd be nice to everyone everyone gonna get along stuff will get done a lot smoother and just you know it'd be really cool Courts, you know, I want kids to know that it can really happen and like it's not impossible like this just started off like me as a kid like I'm no one special I'm just a kid who lives in the neighborhood who likes to hoop you know nothing special and I did it and I know that you can too if you want to renovate that court just, you got to write up that letter you know got to be committed and uh yeah The core was just boring and, you know, I saw, the funny thing is I saw a commercial and it, it wasn't even a Project Backboard commercial, it was like a GoDaddy website commercial and it was like, Project Backboard used GoDaddy to make their website, you can too, and I was like, huh, Project Backboard, and I was already talking about like, re, like renovating it and stuff, it'd be really cool, so I was like, you know, like, let me check Project Backboard out, so I sent them a DM and I was like, hi, how can I get my car renovated? And then um, they replied and said, like, hit our email, give us more details about the court. And they sent me all the steps I needed and stuff. So I was like, all right. So I emailed Westminster and uh, I'll take it from there. And it was really cool. All right. So what happened was I emailed Westminster after that. And they were like, yeah, we'd be interested. So I did a couple conference calls with Project Backboard. Blake Ramsey from the city of Westminster and I got to meet up with Blake in person over at the court talk about what we wanted to do with the court and um, he really loved the idea and so we were all like excited about it, it was really cool and we flew out to LA and Project Backward invited us to come to a clinic so we were in Venice Beach doing a clinic you know and the men were playing basketball and uh, Zer was out there making the signs and stuff you know he did the Nipsey Hustle court and all that so we were like hey would you like to come to our court like we're redoing the court you know we need artists out there to design and stuff like you want to come like do it with us and he was like yeah for sure you guys get me out there and like I'll do it so my mom and me started fundraising like selling the candles and stuff and then um we raised that money and uh lose her out here and then um took it from there and y'all see the project what it is right now and yeah that's pretty sick pickup that's what i want to see i want to see people not fighting and just playing pickup because i mean that core you'll go there and if you ain't going with your friends you ain't gonna get a game in there's no one there absolutely no one and then um every once in a while you'll see like just a random dude jump shots like this, you know, just like messing around over there. But like, there's no serious hoopers over there. Like, no one goes there. It's not a spot. And actually, we posted it on the next door app, if you know what that is. And um, we posted it. We're like, hey, we're redoing a basketball court. Like, come see and stuff. And someone commented, there's a basketball court in Amherst? Question mark. Like, that's how like much people don't know about it. But um, so I just want everyone to get to know it for it to go viral so everyone can be like, yo, I want to go hoop at the 5280 Q court. And like, that'd be really cool. That, that's what I want to see more of on the court. All right, y'all, so big thank yous. You know, we got to give the thank yous to the boy Brock, you know, I'll put this together. We got Joey and all of Brock's brothers really helped. They did like amazing, you know, Daniel, Makai, you know, he's not really a brother, but like, he a brother, you know, like he one of the brothers. Um, Makai and Brandon, and big shout out to Brooklyn, their sister, you know. But um, one thing that might surprise y'all who were there, 
I want to thank Keon, you know, none of us knew him, and uh, he kind of started some beef, you know, people didn't really like him, but I want to thank, I want to thank Keon because he helped everyone come together, you know, like, we didn't really have conflict at first, but he started the conflict, and that's when we realized it's not all rainbows and butterflies, you know, it's not just going to be a breeze, a walk through the park, so I want to thank him for that, I want to thank Zer, big thanks for him to come out. You know, Calvin came out, showed some support. We got Landon, so many more names, you know. Um, that's all I can name off the top of my head, but there's so many kids there, you know. There's, I gotta say, like, 15 kids, but like, oh, the boy Nico. Yes, sir. Nico was out there, youngest cat out there, man. He was going, and he didn't want to take, like, no breaks. And when people, when, when we started playing pickup, People would be like, oh, like, give him the ball, let him shoot it. And he got so mad, he just, like, he stopped, play, like, when they gave him the ball, he'd throw it at the ground because he didn't want no one to take it easy on him. Like, he actually wanted to play. And there was one moment when we were like, okay, we're not taking it easy on you anymore. And he was like, okay, let's go. And it was, like, in slow motion. He's going to the basket. He goes, one, two for a layup. He's going up. And usually we'd all just let it go. But he said he didn't want to take nothing easy on it. You see? Ball goes up, it's like in slow motion, his eyes up on the rim, and boom, and it's sent back. <laughs> and so, you know, um, but yeah, he had a good time, and everyone, I want to thank Antonio too, he's out there some of the time, and um, yeah, big thanks to everyone, anyone I forgot, I'm sorry, y'all, I, I know I'm forgetting some big names, some important people, but like, I want to thank all of you guys, everyone who was out there, huge help. I want to give a big thanks to my mom for helping me and supporting this. And just every anyone who came out, even just watched us do the project, I want to thank you. But the biggest thank you is to the people who called the police on us. They called the police and the police came and just supported it. It, it, it was great. But yeah, and some people thought it was like graffiti on the court and all that. There was one girl walking by, she was recording with her phone like this. And we are like, hi, this is like, like this is loud, but the city was mentioned. And she goes, okay. And she, she like yeah, puts her phone right here. And she's not talking or anything. She's acting like she's on the phone now. Like she like recording us. It was pretty obvious. But yeah, it was just funny. Everyone who thought it was like graffiti and stuff. I want to give a big thanks to them. Because um, it's not graffiti. Like it was permitted by Westminster. If y'all want to call it graffiti, like... It, it was allowed, like, it was allowed graffiti, so, you know, yeah, that's, that's the big thanks I want to give to everyone, and I love everyone who was out there, and, uh, yeah, it was great, really great. Hey, I want to thank you, Quincy, for having me here. Yes, thank you, man. This is a beautiful experience, and that's what I'm here for, man, you know, to support the youth and keep motivating kids to keep going hard and keep doing what they love. Hey, my name is Quincy Hustle. I want to tell y'all, anything is possible, put your mind to it, and I know y'all hear that all around, but for real, like, y'all got to remember that, write that down on a note, put it on your wall, anything is possible, because I mean, I didn't think this was possible, but y'all seen the court, it's done, and it, it ain't like, it's like, oh, he got lucky, like, nah, I, no one else is doing this, y'all can do this, so I'm checking out, that's a good project, you know? Had a good weekend and put your mind to it and it's gonna happen. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.